Hi guys, welcome back to the Essex Fashion House channel. I'm going to show you my whole collection of Coach Simple Bags. Now, if you want to know more about Simple Bags, including what they are, go check out my last video where I did a whole explanation of what they are, how to find them, how to know if you have one. I'll leave the link for that video in the description of this one, and I'll also put it on the screen here at the end of the video. And also, all the bags you'll see in this video are for sale. They have just dropped in my shop right now. So if you fall in love with one of these, uh, head over to the website. I'll leave the links for all the bags in the description as well and other than that I hope you'll enjoy this video so the first one is this one and I think this is actually a bag that was produced for the stores this just happens to be a sample bag it has the 000000, 000 Creed inside instead of the style number so it is a sample I'm thinking this is just one of the early ones they made correct me if I'm wrong but I think they did make this model for the stores I've definitely seen these Ugg's blood um, chevron quilted leather ones before this one has a uh, bright red interior suede which is quite nice i like the combination of the red with the ugg's blood which looks really good um the hang tag is ugg's blood on the back as well then we have another rogue 31 which i also think was produced for the store this one also has the Ciro's creed instead meaning it is probably just an early edition because i do think they made this this is like a light saddle and the inside is burgundy or oxblood it has gunmetal hardware and yeah this one looks just like a normal rogue 31 as well nothing unique about it as such and let's continue with the rogue 31s here is another one this one is in the i can't remember if this color is dusty rose or just rose i think it's um i think it's just the rose pink color and i don't know if they made this one before i've never seen this color in the border rivets edition so of course because it has the border rivets it also has the little t rose rivets and the t rose on the hang tag this is a beautiful bag it's got the ox blood on the back of the hang tag and it's got ox blood inside as well excuse the cardboard it's just to keep the shape of it um while i store it uh so yeah ox blood or burgundy suede inside it has brass hardware which i think looks quite pretty with the pink um, again, please do let me know if you've ever seen one of these before. I don't know, this could also have been a color that they did actually produce, but I'm not sure. So, please do let me know. I'm always interested in hearing more information about these, uh, models that I have. The only thing I can say is that this is for sure a sample bag, as it also has the Ciro's Creed patch inside. And then we go on to other rogues, but smaller ones. So here is a Rogue 25, and this one was definitely produced for the store. I actually have... I think three of these now. Um, this one looks exactly like the one that ended up going into the store, except for the fact that it has the little uh, loop here at the front to attach the hang tag and um, plushette to. Hang tag's missing on this one. So as you see, it has this little loop instead of being attached to the front. I've got another one here that is the one that uh, that is one that was made for the store. And um, this one has the Ciro's sample creed. This one has a normal sample creed. And as you can see on the normal one, the tags are just attached to the handle like on the normal rogues. And then on the sample one, they're attached here at the little loop. But other than that, these bags are identical. And on to another Rogue 25. This one is the embossed signature um, Rogue 25 in a gray color. I'm not sure if this uh, color has a name or not um, this one is special in several ways so this model with the embossed signature of the front is a model that was made so this one is in beechwood they are identical except that this one has some different features and i don't believe this color was actually made for the store either the gray one here has again this little loop where the hang tags are attached rather than them being attached up here some people prefer that some people don't but um that's one thing where it stands out and that's a classic like sample bag feature in my opinion uh then it also has the c chain links on the detachable straps which uh you do see that on some rogues i've only seen it on rogue 31s though and only a few models and on the normal one uh it just has the normal uh rogue 25 straps so that makes it stand out a little bit as well. The metal is uh, gunmetal. And one thing that also stands out about this one 
is the edges here at the side. So the edges are actually like this dark uh, ox blood color and it's quite a thick edge all the way down here. I've never seen that on any rogue before. So this one is definitely one of the more special ones. It's got ox blood leather, smooth leather in the outer pockets. This one doesn't have the uh, floral bow pattern on it like the beechwood one does. This one is quite a special one for many reasons, or for several reasons, and I think this one is quite beautiful. One thing that also stands out about this one is that, I'm not sure how well it shows up on camera, but the leather actually has kind of like a little bit of a burnished effect. So yeah, that one's quite special. Here's another Rogue 25. This one is, is probably my favorite out of all of the Rogue stable bags I have. So again, this one has the little loop at the front for the hang tags and also has the Zero's style number inside on the Creed. Um, but what really makes this one special is that it's a Rogue 25, but it, it's cross grain leather. And I've never seen that before. I don't know if, if they have made any Rogue 25s in cross grain leather. I know they've made, um, you know, Rogue shoulder bags in caviar leather and they do make bags in cross grain leather, but I've just never seen it on a Rogue 25. So again, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think they've ever done that on any models. Um, and then on top of that, this one has ox blood, like dark or like dark brown. I'm guessing it's ox blood, but it's like darker than the burgundy looking ox blood uh, lining in the outer pockets. And then this one also has the detachable straps with the C-link change rather than just the normal uh, detachable straps. This one to me is so pretty. I love the black with the ox blood together. And I do lo really love the, the look of the cross grain. Plus that'll also make it a little bit more structured so it'll hold its shape better over time rather than the pebble leathers. It's got brass or like light gold. No, I think it's brass hardware. This one is really pretty. And then this one here is the last Rogue I've got of sample bags. And this is the Rogue shoulder bag. But I have never seen one that looks like this before. So first of all, it's handles are detachable. So these are like the straps that are on the Rogue 25s. Actually, it's a little bit weird that these are detachable because as you probably already know, the Rogue shoulder bag does not have grab handles like the other Rogues. So therefore, if you take the shoulder straps off, now I just took one off already. If you take them off, this bag has no handles or straps at all, uh, which doesn't really make that much sense, but, it, but in a way it does because what it allows you to do is to add a different type of strap. You could either add different shoulder straps from different rogues and different colors, or you could add like a coach novelty strap and have a thicker uh, crossbody strap for it so that instead of it just being a shoulder bag, you can actually convert it into a uh, crossbody bag, which I think is brilliant. Um, I kind of wish I could do that to all my uh, shoulder bags. Then on this one as well, you have the little loop here at the front for the hang tags instead of uh, them going around a handle. This one is in the color chalk with beechwood color block. And if you look at the lining, it is suede with the floral bow pattern. Very cute. This one is just, yeah, it's adorable. And again, this one has the Ciro's uh, Creed patch as well. I think this was actually the very first coach sample bag I ever got. Um, this one is quite special in my opinion. I like this one a lot. I've never seen anything like it. Let me know if you have. And then moving on from the rogues, we've got here a prairie satchel. Uh, this one also has the Ciro's Creed patch. Actually, all the ones I'm going to show you have the Ciro's Creed patch. I don't know why I keep saying that. Um, so this is the um, Coach Signature Rose pattern. And uh, the rest of it's chalk, it's color block. It looks great. This is such a pretty bag. This model was definitely made for stores. I have seen them. I've seen other ones. But uh, this one stands out just a little bit. It's the only thing that's different about this it, as far as I know, is that on the hang tag, it has a little added T-Rose charm. I'm not sure if this is normal for this model. I've never seen this on one of these models, so I don't know. But that was one thing that stood out to me. It has this little thing. And then the other thing, which isn't necessarily right for this bag, is that so this one, instead of coming with a normal leather long strap for crossbody wear, it just came with a brass chain instead. So pretty standard prairie satchel, just has that one little extra feature. Now this one is another one of my absolute favorites. So you might recognize this, this is the Mason Carry All. And uh, I already love the Mason Carry All to begin with, but this one 
I love even more because as you'll probably notice straight off the bat, it has a clochette on it, which the Mason Carriol does not usually come with. It otherwise looks pretty much exactly like the normal Mason Carriol, but I believe that this color was never actually made for the stores. At least I have never ever ever seen the Mason Carriol in this blue color. This is the one if you watch my other uh, if you watch my video about uh, what coach sample bags are, you'll see this is the one that also came with the sample bag tag or a little card in it and everything. The lining in the outer pockets is this dark navy blue. I don't know if that shows up so well on the camera. It is a dark blue, very pretty. And of course it has the uh, little pull tabs as the normal ones do and it has the snake skin as the normal ones do. So other than other than the color and the clochette, this looks very much like a normal mason. Then we have a drifter. These bags I think are so pretty. Like they're beautiful, they're sturdy, they're, the materials are so nice. That is definitely my favorite thing about the drifters is that the material is just so good. Like the leathers are thick, you've got the mixed leathers. This one has pepple leather on the side, smooth leather at the front and bottom, and then suede here on the flap. This one, I don't know if this style was ever made. I know they made a lot of different drifters with all kinds of embellishments. Uh, this one has like pearl studs, rivets. Looks a little bit like prairie rivets, but I'm not sure if it is. But I've never seen one like this. Uh, this one ha has the Ciro's Creed patch inside as well, telling me that it is a sample bag. And I don't know if this one is special or not, but I've, ne I've never seen one like it, but I don't know if it's just an early produced one uh, of the of this model. Let me know if you've ever seen one of these before. So inside it has Uggs blood, smooth leather, love it. It's just the materials are just so, so amazing on this bag. And I love the way the handle looks with it. And you've got the little slip pocket on the back with the snap button and the little button details on the sides. Such a cute bag. Now we also have a dreamer. This one, I also don't know if this was ever made for the stores or not. I've never seen one, but that doesn't mean it hasn't been. Um, I just know it's a sample bag because of the creed inside, but I've never seen a dreamer that has the like patchwork snakeskin at the front. I've seen a wallet like this, and I've seen another few models like this, like one of the um, those round ones, the canteen looking ones. But this is the only dreamer I've ever seen like this. And I don't know if they did this, but um, at the very least, this is a very early, edition of uh, that model if they did do it. So it's a, it's a standard dreamer. It's got the little C charm. It's got the hang tag, the handles here. It's got the uh, the main compartment with the two compartments outside. The edges are this dark red, almost ox blood, but more like red, which I think is quite a cool detail and that does that on the hang tag as well. I think that looks great. And other than that, this is really just a black dreamer with some really cool patchwork detailing on it. Here we have probably the most special uh, coach bag I have ever owned and it remains a mystery to me. I do not know what this bag is. I know that it's coach, I know that it's genuine, it has been authenticated, but I've never ever ever seen a coach bag that looks like this. So please, if you know what this is or what model it looks like, please do let me know. This is a huge bag. It's almost like a doctor's bag, kind of. And it's it's 100 percent like snake skin at the front, back and sides, and then it has these nice smooth leather black handles, black smooth leather on the bottom. As you can see, the the size of this bag is like it's a big handbag. <laughs> You can fit a lot of stuff in here. And it has so many cool little details. And the thing is, like a lot of them are things that you don't usually see on coach bags. Interesting looking pull tabs here. Three little coach rivets here at the front. And as you can see, it comes with the 1941 style hang tag and it has a clochette as well. And under the flaps out here, under one of the flaps, it also says, it also has the little 1941 stamp up here at the top. Of course, you've got the double zippers for the main compartment. You've got the little zip pocket here. And one of the things that really look interesting about this bag is the dock clips on the straps. So it comes with two long straps, almost like on the rogues that you can attach. 
carry it on the shoulder, I would assume, I would guess. These are quite short. But the dog tags have this weird, this weird shape that you don't see very often. I've only ever seen this on other sample bags. And they do have coach on them and everything. This one is definitely the most special one I have. And I, I don't even know what to call it. Like, I've never even seen anything that looked remotely like it. So, <laughs> but this is definitely a special one. And then, last but not least, this is another favorite of mine. So this is a Swagger. I believe it is the size of the Swagger 27. But as you can see, this has the Lynx details that you see on a lot of coach packs as well. I really like that detail. Uh, it has the two hang tags like the Swaggers usually do. The Lynx go almost all the way around it. And then here at the back as well, it looks a little bit different because this is actually a slip pocket, which I don't believe the normal swaggers have but what a great addition the swagger is already a great bag but then that little uh easy access compartment is just a great detail and uh other than that it's just such a sleek looking bag it's smooth glove tan leather it's got yellow contrast stitching like you see on a lot of the rogues uh, on the black rogues uh the bottom looks like a rogue as well genuine glove tan leather you've got the little strips under the feet and everything and that's the last one that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this little collection video. If you love one of these bags, don't forget that they are all for sale. And let me know in the comments which one of these is your favorite. And if you wanna see a video of one of these bags up close showing you all the details and everything, uh, put it in the comments and I will see what I can do about that. That's it guys, I'll see you in the next video.